And welcome to Let's Fly VFR. 11.5 zeros out. So let's have a look at that and compare that against 11.41. See, see what it's like? Like, subscribe, and share if you enjoy the video. Let's check out the settings that I'm running with. Now, the settings I'm using here, I've used in both uh, the 11.41 and in 11.50. Now, I'm in beta 2 when I recorded this. Uh, I've now come through to beta 3. But you can see the settings are all pretty high reasonably. I've got high on the graphic side of things on the left there. And the Ailsing is uh, quite a way up. I think that's 4 SSA or SAA. And uh, I'm running the just 1080p, which is uh, just fine. And got all the objects turned up. But we're using ortho scenery. And as you can see there, I'm still running the 2600. But I do have the 2060 Super uh, 8 gigabyte graphics card now. So as we head out in the Zin 142 at, uh, at my, well, my local airport, I thought if you're going to do this thing, you do it where you're going to fly mostly, and I mostly fly around my own area. So as we head out, I've tried this also in uh, both default scenery and with the ortho tiles. So I tend to use the ortho tiles, but I didn't find there was any real FPS difference between using the default scenery with the same level of 3D objects as uh, as using the ortho scenery here as we fly around a very green Parafield airport. Now, we're in the in OpenGL here as we start, so this is 11.41 as we do a bit of silliness around the airport. Just to give you a bit of an idea as we head past objects and, and how they look, there's a little bit of stuttering here with uh, 11.41. Then the other thing is you might notice on the side of the screens as I'm using this, because I've got the Rift S, as I fly around and we buzz the hangar. Don't do it, Goose. You can see it's still pretty smooth, though. And we're running pretty high settings. And in part, that's probably the addition of the, uh, the 2060 Super, which was recent. But you'll notice, I think, when we get into 1150, that the differences between the... Um, as you can see, the edges move as I buzz the hangars and zip around the place here. They, they get sucked in, if you like. As I turn to look left, the right one gets dragged and gets left black. Now, I don't really notice that uh, in-game particularly because you tend to focus on the centre of the screen as you move your head. And there's some smart anti aliasing uh, uh, also in operation there from NVIDIA, which is working on that as well. So, But what are we getting frame-wise? Well, I found that I was getting in OpenGL... Uh, around about the 40 fps in vr and i was getting 35 37 fps in 2d because i had a look at both just to see how it was uh, and that's you know that's what it's been for for quite a while you know i was getting a little bit more i did have the um the objects turned down uh maybe one more step and i was getting a, a chunk more fps but um, I only fly in VR these days. I don't really care about 2D personally. Um, there may be occasions where I might do it, but really, uh, VR for me is the place to be. And this uh, Zion this uh, 142 is just magnificent in VR. The detail as we come into land on the um, on the apron. I thought it'd save us a bit of a trip round. So we'll come in here and we'll drop it down here. And really, you know, looking at the screen, you, you can't tell the difference between the 11.50 and the uh, 11.41. So I'm really interested if you're getting big differences in FPS. So here we go, 2D was 39, sorry, in this one, and 40 FPS is what I was getting. I have to correct myself. Uh, that's what I was getting there. As we come into um, Hartwick Air... So I did do a few hours of flying at this particular uh, flying school in my early days. But it looks magnificent. It, you know, it still ran pretty well. And this is what I see if you look at the screen uh, when you're doing uh, VR and you pop the headset off. This is what you see on screen, guys, if you uh, weren't aware. So, all right, I think we should move on and have a look at uh, Falcon. Okay, this is 11.50 beta 2. 
So as we zip around again, you can see it's still pretty smooth, as you would expect. Now, you'd expect nothing better. Um, I'm, I'm worried. I'm not worried. I'm, I'm interested to hear whether it's just a placebo effect, people thinking they're getting a lot more FPS. Now, if you're running a Radeon card, you should be getting masses more cards uh, with, with your card because of the um, very, very poor optimization with the OpenGL drivers. So you guys out there with Radeon cards must be jumping for joy right now, and uh, it, it's great that that's uh, finally happening for you guys. Uh, even with um, Michael from X-Force PC in his videos, he was talking about the double and sometimes more in uh, performance increase depending on your card from where you were before, guys. So I'm sure you're really happy with that. But what was I getting? Okay, Vulcan and VR. There was a bit of a change here, especially between 2D and 3D. My, my 3D or my VR settings, well, they remained pretty much around the 40 anyway. And that's what I was sort of tuning for. 40 FPS in VR runs really well. They don't see any stuttering generally. Uh, DCS, there's a little bit of a change there, but that's still running OpenGL, and there's talk of DCS going to um, to Vulcan. And the other interesting thing, guys, I, don't know if, I haven't heard anybody else mention it, but uh, there looks like there might be a whole new graphics addition to X-Plane because... Um, Austin mentioned in a video the other day, just in passing, and maybe at 11.70, I don't know if that's the case, but I think with everything that's going on with Flight Sim 2020 or 2021, as it might turn out to be now, we might be in for some major graphics updates in the near future, and even before we get X-Plane 12. So, I hope you enjoyed the video. Now, again, the figures I got for that, 2D, I had 63 FPS, and I was getting uh, around that 40 FPS again in, um, in in Vulcan. So the 2D hasn't changed. The 3D's changed a lot uh, in FPS. So I hope that was helpful. It was just a quick flight. Uh, if you got any questions, pop them down in the comments, and I look forward to hear from you. Let me know how many FPS you got and what inf and what differences you gained out of it and I look forward to catching you in the next video. See you again soon.